After a shocking start to the season, The Walking Dead took us far and wide during the first half of season seven, introducing new communities, exploring old ones, and learning just how extreme the new big bad really is. But things really came to a head in the mid-season finale episode, Hearts Still Beating, when Negan took down two more members of Alexandria and Rick was finally prompted to take action. Given that the mid-season finale was another extended episode, there was a lot to take in, and there were undoubtedly details you missed. So let's take a look at the five things you might have missed in episode eight, Hearts Still Beating. Though it's been weeks for us since Glenn and Abraham were cruelly beaten to death, in the Walking Dead universe, this tragedy took place much more recently. And even though it looks like Maggie has bounced back from Glenn's death and straight into life at the hilltop, during episode eight, we saw her taking a few moments to grieve at his graveside. As is the nature of love in the apocalypse, Maggie has barely anything to remember Glenn by, having burned his photograph seasons earlier and given his pocket watch to Enid. However, episode eight revealed a cute homage to her late partner in the form of a cap. Though you might have heard when Richard explained to Morgan and Carol that the Savior's agreement with the Kingdom was reached peacefully, the implications of this are far-reaching. Because the Kingdom hasn't suffered any great loss of human lives at the hands of Negan, unlike Hilltop and Alexandria, they don't have any real reason to fight back against them. The Kingdom is favored by your presence once more! Richard stands out as the sole member of the Kingdom who thinks that the group should strike before the Saviors inevitably take out some of their members. But even Carol and Morgan are opposed to that idea. What this means is that when Rick eventually goes to the Kingdom to ask for Ezekiel's help, he might find himself turned down, and it might even take a tragic turn of events before Ezekiel offers the help of his people. With so many comic book storylines having been replicated through season seven already, comic fans would have been stoked to see Spencer's gory and brutal death recreated in the TV series. Spencer's death was basically word for word and frame for frame exactly the same as the comics, right down to him desperately clawing at his unraveling innards and Negan exclaiming, There they are. They were inside you the whole time. You did have guts. I've never been so wrong in my whole life. However, one death in episode eight that wasn't included in the comic series was Olivia, who was swiftly shot down as punishment for Rosita lying about who made her homemade bullet. Mixing in storylines from the comics with fresh new ideas means that fans are constantly guessing which direction the show will take them in. And with communities such as Oceanside being thrown in the mix, as well as this mysterious Boots character, who knows what season seven B will bring. It might have been the most awkward dinner of all time, but could Negan's spaghetti meal have been a reference to our beloved Herschel? I hereby declare we have spaghetti Tuesdays <laughs> every Wednesday. And even though Negan would have had absolutely no idea about this connection, I can't help but feel the Walking Dead writers threw it in as a nod to the fans. For the entirety of season seven, Rick has been a shell of his former self. And hey, who can blame him? Seeing two of your closest friends smashed to death will do that to a man. After the horrors of the premiere episode, Rick totally fell under the control of Negan, accepting his new way of life and trying to force the residents of Alexandria to do the same. However, following the event of the mid-season finale, Rick finally understood that he needed to rise up and fight Negan and agreed with Michonne's plan to fight back. But Rick's transformation into his former self wasn't complete until his right-hand man, Daryl, was back at his side and his weapon of choice, the Colt Python Revolver, was back in his hand. Watch out, Negan. Rick Grimes is coming for you. 